Hey guys, uh, thank you for joining me for this video. Um, this past weekend, actually, until today, was Fan Expo Vancouver 2020, uh, which my wife and I attended. I do apologize, my voice is a little raspy. Um, it was really loud there, and uh, we were talking quite uh, loud, so I kind of lost my voice a little bit. Um, just a kind of a rundown of what happened this weekend, and we'll talk about some of the things that we picked up. Um, on, we attended the whole day Saturday uh, in our cosplays. Um, it was the first time I actually went in a cosplay. My wife normally goes every year in cosplay. But we went as Jacob and Evie Fry from Assassin's Creed uh, Syndicate. Um, there will be a photo at the end of this uh, video if you want to check us out um, there. Um, one of the big things uh, or one of the big draws for this year was Todd McFarlane was at the expo. Um, and the really cool thing he was doing is that he was giving two free signatures um, as long as you had um, either a Spawn comic or a comic that he worked on uh, or an action figure from his uh, company, um, he would sign them for free for you. The downside was is that there were people in line all day long um, in order to get signatures. I had a choice to either hang out with my wonderful wife and uh, kind of explore the expo uh, and also go to the couples contest that we were going to or wait in line all day to get a signature. I chose to do the first and that was hanging out with my wife, um, which I think really worked out. I did get to see Todd McFarlane, um, which is cool. I can at least say that. Um, but I'm not really upset about not having something signed by him. Um, now, the really cool thing was I was able to talk to LaVar Burton. Um, he uh, was from Reading Rainbow and Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, and I also got to talk to Bruce Campbell uh, from Evil Dead uh, and Hercules and Z uh, Xena. And he played the Prince of Thieves. Um, now, as you can see here, we did pick up a few things on Saturday. Um, I got the two Sith Troopers up here. Uh, I got something in mind to use those with. I also picked up Professor X. I've been looking for him for a while. Was looking for Mr. Sinister. That's the only other one I wanted. Nobody had it. So unfortunately, I didn't uh, get to pick it up. Um, my lovely wife did pick up the Link and the Nightmare Before Christmas statues. And when she got those, she did get the Fallout uh, gun there for free as well. Um, now... A couple of her friends had uh, booths at this expo. Uh, one of them uh, is our friend Kayla, uh, who goes by Nine Flame Creations. I will have a link to her Etsy shop in the description below. Uh, but she makes these really cool monster boxes for D&D. &D. My wife and I don't play. We're thinking about doing it, but we wanted to support her, so we picked that up. Um, I believe she still has some left over from the expo, so if you're interested in picking one of those up, check out the link in the description below. Um, I wish that we had uh, grabbed one of the cards for these guys, um, but we also did, other than buying artwork, which you do almost every year for the house, um, we picked up this cutting board and these coasters, uh, and of course, they're kind of nerdy with what's on it. We did pick up some artwork. We didn't get a lot of artwork this year. We typically come home with a ton, um, but we're running out of wall space. Um, now, the one thing that we wanted to do and we do every year we go is we stop by Miguel Molina's art. Uh, I know Miguel personally, um, so uh, we always go by. We always pick something up uh, from him. Um, this year, we got the Spider-Verse uh, and... Uh, as far as I know, that was the one and only uh, Weapon X um, one that he had. Uh, Kim, or my wife, also picked up the bookmark. And on the back of the bookmark here, it has some really sweet drawing on there. Uh, and then I also picked up a pen. I always get a pen from him. Now, I completely forget um, the gentleman that made these, but I'm a big Gargoyle fan. Uh, my wife is also an artist, um, and she, a while back, uh, made a really big wall poster for me uh, of gargoyles. Um, so it was really cool. Uh, the last couple of years we've been going, I've been saying I'd really like to find some gargoyle um, photos or, or something along that line. Um, so I was able to pick these up today. Again, I can't remember who it was that uh, I bought them from. I forgot to grab one of their cards, uh, but they did a really great job. 
Uh, side note, all of Miguel's uh, big photos like this, he works his mother's name into the drawing. Um, so you actually really have to take a look. I haven't found it in this one, uh, but I have found it in a couple other pieces that I bought from him, which is really cool. And finally, guys, I did something a little different. And I actually picked myself up a couple dioramas or pieces to go with dioramas. As you guys know, as you've followed my video, or if this is the first time you're watching a video of mine, please check out the other videos I have on my channel. Um, but I do make my own dioramas. Um, props and stuff was there this year. Um, if you live in the Vancouver area and have gone out to Langley to Toy Traders, um, you'll be familiar with his, um, his dioramas because he's done the majority of the dioramas they have on their walls. Um, now he uses plywood uh, and um, molds, things like the Sentinel heads here um, to make these. Um, and I thought it was really cool. We chatted a little, little bit about uh, how he started off. Uh, he originally used foam and stuff like that, but then moved into using plywood and other materials. Um, and it was really cool. And I thought I'd support him by picking up a couple of his um, pieces here. And that's what you see here. I'm really happy with what we got this year. Um, and I hope you guys uh, enjoy this little haul video. Uh, and like I said, I'll have uh, at least one or two photos here at the end of the video um, showing the lovely cosplay that my wife and I did uh, this year. Uh, and who knows, maybe next year I'll go on another cosplay. Anyway guys, as always, stay nerdy.